woods there was a rich man who lived in a beautiful house. He was by far the richest of all. But he was also a very greedy master. The people who worked for him were very poor because he paid them small wages for a lot of hard work. Not far from the rich man's house lived a poor man in a lowly cottage. The farmer and his wife had worked for the rich man for many many years. But they had been able to save only a little. One day the farmer's wife said to her husband, All our money is gone. And the time has come for us to sell the cow. Sell the cow? exclaimed the old man, thinking he had not heard all right. Why? What shall we do without milk? I don't know, said the wife. But we have little money to live and the old cow should bring perhaps a thousand rupees. The old farmer's eyes brightened and he said, Oh yes, so I'll drive her to the market tomorrow morning. Early next morning, he started to the market leading the cow. Be sure to get a good sum for her, said the wife. I'll do my best, don't worry, wife, said the farmer. The old man had not gone far along the road when he met an odd looking man and that odd looking man asked him how much is your cow worth one thousand rupees i think said the old man well i'll give you this old pot for her said the stranger holding an odd looking three-legged pot that he was carrying on his arm the old man looked very surprised and he said, A cow for this old pot? This pot is worth nothing to me. And then suddenly the iron pot said, Take me, take me, please old man, take me. When the old man heard the pot speak, he thought, Oh, that must be a magic pot. And so he agreed to the bargain and the exchange was made. But the farmer returned to his cottage and he recalled what his wife had said. Be sure to get a good sum for her. I'd better take the pot to the barn, he thought. So he went to the barn and he tied the pot in the stall and then he went to the cottage. Did you sell the cow, said the wife. The husband nodded his head and said, Come to the barn and see for yourself what I got. So he led the way carrying a lal tin and his wife followed. Look in the stall. And his wife very quickly went in, opened the door and looked in the stall. She looked left and she looked right and there was not the thing there. She was like, What do you want me to look for? And where is the cow? So the old man said, Look in the corner what I got for the cow. And the wife looked inside and she saw an odd looking three legged pot lying in the corner. And she said, surely you did not trade our cow for that. Before the old man could answer, the iron pot spoke up. Take me in and scur me bright. Hand me over the firelight. What did he say? Let's hear it again. Take me in and score me bright. Hand me over the firelight. You see, it's a magic pot. Let's do as he asks. So they took the pot into the house and they scored it until it shone. And the next morning, the old woman hung it over the fire and soon it became hot and it said, I skip, I skip. Tell me where you skip, said the old woman. I skip, I skip as fast as I can and I skip to the house of the very rich man. So can you repeat with me children? 
What did the magic pot say? It said, I skip, I skip as fast as I can. I skip to the house of the very rich man. We will talk about this story in the next part in the next video. Thank you.